Howdy folks and welcome to another exciting video, but today this one's a little different. We're working on a 1974 Cadillac Fleetwood, but it's not just any Cadillac Fleetwood. This car is actually personally owned by the man himself, the King, Richard Petty. We are currently at Petty's Garage working on his back row of personal cars that he hasn't driven. Well, this one was tagged last in 1995, I believe I could see it. So it's been off the road for quite some time. And as far as he'll tell you, it was running when it was parked. So it's pretty cool. He actually bought this car from a funeral home. So we're gonna dig into this thing a little bit. It's got a 500 cubic inch engine in the, underneath the hood. We're gonna see if we can make this thing run and drive for the first time since 1995, which is what, 28 years ago? Sounds, yeah, yeah. That's a lot, long, it's close enough. So long time. stick around to the end of the video and see if we can do just that. So this thing is literally off the side of a cliff just about and they built the barrier with race car wheels and tires all over the place you can see that there's some uh, Goodyear tires with the aero wheels up underneath the bumper I guess just to keep everything from falling off but I would assume some of these trees probably grew up since this thing's been parked especially these right here we're gonna try and go forward with it try to get it to run and get it from away from falling off this cliff side here. Let's see if we can get through the trees here. Push you over. There we go. Wiggle up in here. Oh! There we go. What do we got working in here? Wow. Velour or pillow seats. Here's a a doodaddy. What does that go to? I don't know. Probably hooks up to this doodaddy. What, Whatever that does. Uh, the back seat's been, rem or is that just, what is that? Is that an extra back seat? Because there's a back seat in the car. Multiple back seats. Well, that's a whole seat. I guess it's a limo that turns. It, oh, does it have two set, like they face each other? Whoa. That's pretty cool. Cause there's nice. a look at the back seat. It's just nice. Ain't it's it? mint inside. It's kind of yeah. hard to see, but it is actually really nice in here. We'll get a, a better look here in a minute, but it looks really, really clean on the inside. The front door has no frame around it. Yeah, but the back but the door. The rear does. So it's, I, I think it's a limo. Like it's a, I think that's what they look like is a Fleetwood limo. Cause it's got this extra little, like normally the car would end right here, but it's got this extra width to it so that way that would make sense why there's two back seats in there because they could face each other and that's a totally different door for a limo i guess for the rear door yeah i think so that's, that's pretty cool and again there you can see the registration last tagged 1995. this car gets an award for the longest car ever <laughs> it's it's huge that's for sure i don't i'd like to measure how long this thing is ashtrays and cigarette lighters and every door it's got, but it does have a cigarette lighter in the passenger's front door. All power windows that probably don't work. No keys. No keys. That's going to be fun, trying to figure that out. I pulled the hood release. I want to see if I can... Nope. I'm just kidding, it didn't work. Oh, something did something. Oh! Come on up there, big girl. Oh, there it is. Sure is. That's a 500 cubic inch monster right there huh <laughs> it's there that is an engine i looked on the floor mats for keys nothing gosh look at the ac condenser it's huge look, look how big the, the radiator yeah, is that's what i was gonna say look at that radiator wow that's what we need in every car i think that could cool off a semi look how big that's like a four inch core yes look at 50 inches long so what I'm seeing here, I mean, everything is intact down to the air clean. Look at that. Like, how often do you see this big air box on anything? I bet this old car ain't got a lot of miles on it. So we've got, we've got a bolt on here for the air cleaner lid. And there's a bunch of spider webs and stuff. I got a bolt tiger offer. Yeah, get that. What is this? Is it like a diagnostics thing? It just says start. Will it start the car? Huh. Interesting. What do you think? Quadrajet? I would think so. I hope so. It'd be a lot easier. Makes, it makes lots of good noises. Yeah. 
can turn that lid over and make all kinds of yeah. cool noises. Suck a hole through the hood. Some oh, yeah, people, it's a quadra jet. Some people might not like them, but I think they were cool. Let's see. How do you come off? This is all one piece here. Take you off. I guess they don't want people working on it. You probably tell me to leave it alone. Oh, come on now. Where did you go? There's a vacuum hose that goes right over there to something. Get out of there. Now it should not come off. It made it more aggravating, didn't it? Yeah. And about a mile of vacuum hoses that we're probably so, going to have to deal with. So no electronic emission or is it points? I don't see a... It's not HEI, so I would assume it's points based on my best guess. See if the throttle linkage works. Oh, yeah. Look at there. That thing will run right there, won't it? Yeah. Especially the return, th the throttle return spring wrapped around the coil. That does a lot, too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Look. Somebody probably took that spring off a door off the back porch. Probably. <laughs> probably so. Well, the big thing is, is it stuck or isn't it stuck? Oh, oh yeah, we're moving. We are moving. That's a good sign. No clutch fan. No oh. clutch fan. Heavy duty. Oh, golly. It moves. It doesn't want to, but it does. Sweet. Uh, where's the dipstick? There it is. Oh. It's about a quart low. Oh, hit it on my nose. It smells a little gassy, but it's enough to start it with, so that's good. So as we were saying, this car has a point ignition system on it, so those are pretty easy to fix. I just got to get this cap off here. What do you need? Uh. Phillips or flathead, either one. Oh, they come right off, look at there. That helps a lot, don't it? <laughs> Easy. Well, you got half of them. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, meant to be. Oh, that one's coming loose. Yeah. They look clean too. That's a Sears battery. I wonder how old that thing is. Uh, probably older than me, or older than you, anyhow. Yeah, I'd say me at least. Back and forth, back and forth. Back. Whoop, back and forth. Hey, there we go. Nice. Come on. Oh, what does it say? 91? Maybe 91, yeah, yeah. yeah. 91. So that would be April of 1991. Oh, I hope they reach. Get in there. Get a nice, brand new Odyssey battery. Oh, yeah, look, there's the positive. It's got a big plus sign on it. That might tell me something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. New battery cable extender. Hmm. I've got an idea. Did you say that's 500 cubic inch? Did they, did they build a bigger motor than that for Cadillac? Not that I'm aware of. Look at there. Perfect. Meant to be. I'm just gonna put it on upside down. Well, I can't, can I? Loosen this where you can turn it. Now you can clock it like you want it. Oh yeah, look at there. There you go. Perfect. I'm ironing up the tire to try to get a little room where you can get the to the starter to short it out or get get a remote start on it. But I'm not having a look. There we go. How long do you think that tire's been flat? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> we get a big good start. <laughs> All right, noise is fixing. Here we go. Things ought to happen when I push this button. It's got zero in it now, so we're going to go up from there. Is it coming right back out? I hear it hissing. Yeah. Got two pounds showing in it. Huh. Maybe it will hold air. It's showing two pounds. Started out at zero. Showing 11 psi. The tire is coming up off the ground and it's lifting the car. Oh, there's 12. Look at there. It's working. 
there's that one tire. Dad went ahead and started airing up the other. And it might be hard to see, but I hooked up my little trigger to the starter. Had to crawl up under here. That's why we aired him up. And now, if I come up here, I've got my bump start ready. I'm going to try it. Nothing. Might not have a clean connection. Had to get up under there, maybe sand on it a little bit. Or could just wiggle the battery. Oh, thought I heard something. Let's try it again. Nothing. Holding it. Nothing. Well, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. trying it I guess all I did was stick the power probe on the ignition side and just see what was going on with it and it started spinning let me try it again I don't know what I did well let me keep tapping it with a hammer then We're getting something. There we go. Something broke loose, didn't it? One more time to see. Awesome. Good. Well, I don't know how we did it or what we did, but it just decided to unglue itself, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I have the distributor cap off. We're going to check for spark, but I have to hot wire it because it is currently keyless. So I'm going to spray a little brake clean on the coil here because it's covered and schmutz. Let that evaporate because we don't want any coil sparking on it and causing problems. I don't know which side's which though. One of them will do something, I hope. We just gotta run a hot wire from the battery over to here. Where do you go? So I'm assuming this is the positive because it looks like it's got a power wire running to it. Yeah, so this is the positive side. Nice. Well, hey, let me- Put the cap back on. That would help, wouldn't it? Rotor button on. No, <laughs> I'm getting excited, ain't I? I need, to, I need to slow down for just a second. Well, we have been beating our head against the wall. Yeah, feels like it. We just, we need a win, don't we? Just one win. Well, I don't want to win for you, though. We just need win something. Win for you is a win for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can, we can make might, this happen. He might, even, he might even know where the keys are at. Too. He might. I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, that'd probably be the smart thing to do is ask him. Yeah. I'm sure he's got a he's get got somebody, an idea. Or get somebody to ask him, you know, hey, where's the keys to the Cadillac? Yeah. Distributor cap is on. Nope, oh, I need a flathead. There you go. You see it anywhere? Right there with your hand, left hand. Ah. Right where I left it. Dad has uh, fashioned us a gas jug here out of a Dr. Pepper bottle. Don't worry, it was empty. We did finish I it. I dropped the Dr. Pepper first. Yeah, we had to make sure we drank it first. I'm just gonna do this right here. See if we can get to heat. That's a lot of gas. Whoa! I did too good uh, job fashioning it, did I? See if that does anything. Right. I'm gonna stand back a little ways. You ready? Yep. Watch your eyes for the fan. <laughs> I don't know. I got the cap on good. Yeah, the rotor button's in there. Yeah, let's pull a plug out real fast. I can get to it right here. I pull a wire and put a put a put a screwdriver in. Yeah. I don't know if I got a good ground right here or not. Uh, try that. Clamp on vice grips that we're telling it. Let me try it. 
clean some of the paint off of it. Hang on, when, before it gets me, let me, <laughs> there we go. I'm going to hold the plug wire. You say when. Go ahead. I don't feel anything at the points anymore. I'm not getting a spark. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Something's happening. It's, it's firing. The plug wire back on? It's hitting. I mean, it's got to be getting sparked. I didn't do too good job of that, did I? I was going to dump a bunch in there. Whoa, that's too much. Okay, try it now. Ready? Yeah. I done flooded it, ain't I? Well, I don't know. You think we're still getting spark? Let me make sure I put my hand on it. No. It's not clicking or anything? No. Uh, well, let me take it back out. Just check it again. Let me bump it. Hold, hold on. Now we got it. Okay. Uh-oh. Hang on, don't cook it. I don't want you to shock yourself. I don't want to burn up the starter. Okay, now try it. Well, it might be toast. my time. Woo Woo. Try it again. Ah. Okay. Let me get up on there again. Mm. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, I'm trying. clicking at all? Uh -uh. Like it's not even clicking anymore? Uh-uh. Huh. Sure. I wonder if it's hung in the bendies. Nothing. It ain't even acting like it's touching anything. No, no spark at all. It won't even spark now. Let me tighten this ground Might have killed the, the wire. Let me tighten the ground up when you always pull the hot cable off. Touch that thing to it. I can see what it's doing now. Nothing. It's not sending power to it at all now. I think the trigger's shot. Reckon, what about the jump, uh, the bump starter? Reckon it come unstuck? No, yeah, the, the you can try it, yeah. Because I ain't been touching the trigger. I've been just. It might have. Let's see if I can get up under here. Again. You wanna do a splash of gas or just let it go? Yeah, I do a little gas. I'm just wondering if I put too much in it and it flooded. And then it finally evaporated some to the point where it could run. Maybe. That's what we run. <laughs> it started work out. Try it again. Dang, Bendix is shot, ain't it? So you're not holding the trigger now? It just, uh -huh. huh. Weird. Okay. We got a funnel here with two different hoses in it. Got a fuel hose and a vacuum hose. I'm gonna shove it down into the vent hole and you pour some gas in there. There we go. I'm gonna get up under and hit it with a hammer. You try to make it run.
better. See if you can crank it now. Ready? Yeah. How big a deal would it be to take that starter off and take it with clean it up? I might just see if I can find one local. All right, it's day two. Uh, Dad has gone home. He decided to go ahead and cut out a little early, but I've got Thad to help me. Uh, Thad Moffat here is the grandson of Richard Petty, and he's also a race car driver. I mean, look, we're repping the team name today. <laughs> it's cold as crap out here. Uh, it's, uh, me and Dylan are freezing, our hands are cold, but we're gonna get this Cadillac running and uh, get some good content for you guys. So we gotta start off with this starter, to say the least. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. We've already jacked the car up, got it up ready to wiggle up under there and see if I can remove this ancient starter from this Cadillac. It seems like GM starters, man, I just fight them all the time. <laughs> yeah. And here we are, once again, fighting GM starters. That thing is a monster, too. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's huge. <laughs> Everything on this car is just unnecessarily huge. <laughs> For whatever reason, we want to make it run today. So here we go. I'm going to get up under there, and we're going to do our best to make it happen. Well, it's uh, very cold on this dirty ground here, but hey, you know what? We're going to make it work. I've almost got the starter out of the car, or at least unbolted. And uh, once we do that, we can wiggle it out of here and try and put it back in. But we've got a new one already here. If this support bracket comes loose, the whole thing should just fall on my face and then it'll be fine. I'm eating Cadillac, rusty Cadillac. Oh, it's up. Okay, now I don't need to lose you. Well, there's the old starter out and you can see it's, well, obviously seen better days. Here's our new one, and Thad's gonna help me put this thing back together here in just a second, but gosh, it is freezing cold right now. I can't feel my fingers, but this is gonna be worth it in the end. There it is, new starter is in place. Gosh, I hope it works, because I don't want to do this again. Let me crawl out from under here and we'll try it. Well, before we get too crazy, let's just see, does it work now? Oh, oh. dude. That's, that's five times as fast as it was cranking yesterday. It better run in that one. Go ahead and spray it right there in the, in the primaries. And see if something happens now. Oh wait, let me hook our coil wire on. If anything happens, like this thing decides to get weird, just yank that coil wire and it'll shut off. Okay, bomb's away. Wait, what happened? Am I having a good connection? My heart sank for a second there. <laughs> Let's try that. Good. Give it a little more. We might not be getting a good spark either. Yeah, she's about empty, ain't she? Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> Her fingers aren't working. There, there you go. go. I don't think we're getting a good spark. Hmm. Uh, let's pull that distributor cap back off and we'll uh, try again. Okay. Should just have to turn them both to the left and they'll do something, I think. You know what you're doing anyway. I don't even know why I'm yeah. talking. <laughs> You've been there, ain't yeah, you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, when it gets up into the 30s, it'll feel much better, won't it? Yeah. We had gotten the contacts clean yesterday, but I guess they just weren't too happy by the time we get out of there. So it was whatever. Trying to get your fingers to work in this temperature <laughs> is a tall task. Yeah, yeah, I'm sitting there like trying to squeeze mine to keep them yeah. and it won't do anything. Get I the feel like going. I'm spinning really fast and then I look down and the nuts hardly <laughs> spinning. It's like I'm in slow motion. It's like the medium weather. Yeah. Like that's that's the best. Yeah, we had, and that's the thing. We like, had perfect weather last week. If I was here just a week ago, we'd been perfectly fine. But for some reason, it's like, no, you're going to have to experience the teens. The teens. <laughs> and it usually doesn't get this cold. I think it's supposed to be like 70 degrees next week. Of course. Yeah. Of course it is. Just took the old points out, and uh, we're going to replace those with a new set. I don't think we're getting good spark. Uh, we did yesterday, but I think that those old points were just toast. So we're going to try and adjust them, open them up a little bit, 
and see if that helps anything. Because I know it was working great yesterday to the point where we actually got it to fire, but now it's just, it's like, no, I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> it's just <laughs> mad. So let's uh, spin it up over a little bit and we'll try to adjust it just right. All right, points are adjusted. I'll let you work the starting fluid. I'll work the starter. Man, that's good. That's good. All right, here we go. Oh, it wants to so bad. No, let's try. Uh, get that, get our Dr. Pepper bottle. <laughs> that ought to do the trick. <laughs> Give her a little bit of the good stuff. Try that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dump a good bit in there. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I know you want to. <laughs> I know you want to. Oh, that was <laughs> it. I think it's a timing issue, but oh, we could have a vacuum leak somewhere. <laughs> Looking around, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not trying to fill up the bowl like we did yesterday. Let me get our contraption here. That's good. Pull a little bit down in here. Oh, come on. Man. Hold the throttle just right about there. Okay. Something up here is making some interesting noises. Yes. Oh. Is the starter getting stuck or something? Why is it spinning so fast? Huh. Dude, it wants to very bad. <laughs> it's right there at it's it. It's right there. Let me, let's pull a plug out and just see how they look because they, they could just not be sparking that great. Yeah. I've seen them cause trouble just for the fact of them being old. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? It's mint. Yeah. I've seen better. <laughs> I've seen better. <laughs> well, let's just uh, go ahead and put these. We got some NGKs that look much, much cleaner. Those are, you know, pitch black and all, so I'll let you guys toss that back in. <laughs> well, we got the plugs changed, and uh, here's what we're working with. We've seen better, that's for sure. Well, we've definitely seen worse, but there's some of them that are just really oily, and about all of them look like this, so we're going to just see if a fresh set of spark plugs help anything. I mean, it can't hurt. Can no, it? they can't hurt, especially when you pull out something and it looks like that. <laughs> I don't think we're getting much spark there, right? With all no, no, there's no way. There's well, no we way. put in some uh, fancy new spark plugs, and we'll try and get some spark and get this thing fired up and running. Let's do it. Got our power wire hooked up. If you can see if you can put a little fuel down in the the vent tube there, that's possible. It may be easier said than done. We're working with uh, makeshift tools here. There you there go. You. We'll just fill it up as much as we can, and maybe it'll sit here and idle. All right, now give her a little bit down in the side there, and I'll give some starting fluid. All right, hit it with the starting fluid. Oh, yeah. Plenty. That's enough to start a fire in it. Yeah. I'm going to take that. Yeah, let me hand this bottle before we have any fire hazards near us. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh, come on. Don't act like that. Oh, it's idling. It's idling. <laughs> Something's making a weird, terrible noise, but it's idling. This belt is going to come apart and hit us here in a second, dude. <laughs> nice. Oh, awesome. Nice. <laughs> come on. That is beautiful. Money. 
Well, heck, now, I mean, really our, our limiting factor now is fuel. So we've got a mechanical pump. We can run a, if it works at least, we can run a fuel hose out here to the bumper and just strap that jug to it. We're gonna see if we can drive this thing out of here, dude. Dude, that'd be awesome. Oh. All right, let's get some fuel to it and try it. That is so rewarding. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. I didn't even know the thing was part. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we poured some gas down in there. Got it fired up, so. Set of points and some fresh gas and she fired up. Yep, put some um, spark plugs in it. New starter on it. Now we're gonna rig us up a fuel system to get fuel to it so we can keep it running. Cause it only runs as long as the gas is in the carburetor. Yeah, as long as we're pouring it in there, it'll run. But it, it actually idled pretty good. I was shocked. What's the story on this old car? I don't even remember. <laughs> It showed up. Yeah, it was a hearse for okay. come out of Asheville, I think. I think that's what it, it says Asheville on the license plate right there. Is that right? Yeah, Asheville, sure? North yeah, sure. Carolina. Yeah. So, it w Mom says it was a uh, carried like caskets and stuff, like a funeral service car. Yeah, it was the family really did. Yeah. Yeah, you mean? Uh huh. It's a funeral car. Yeah. yeah. So the story goes, Dad took it on the bachelor trip and found a casket key in the car. <laughs> could, could have been. Yeah. It fired up. I mean, we got it to, it had to put a set of points and the starter was acting up on it. I smacked it with a hammer about 100 times. It's probably been sitting here 15, 20 years. It's 95. 95 was last registered, so almost 30. Almost been 30 years. Been a while. Well, we're gonna try and drive it out of here. What do you think? Kind of rest it out, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice on the inside, still. Kind of. I mean, it's believe it or it's not. It's got the back <laughs> seats where they they're facing each yeah. other. Yeah. You got a row like yeah. facing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's definitely cool. Yeah, we're gonna try and drive it out of here in just a few. Well. All right. We say a few minutes, but it might take a few hours. Maybe <laughs> yeah. a day or two. I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna Brakes try. are stuck, so that's going to keep us from driving. But once we get it running, we'll try and drive it out. Good luck. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. We're going to need it. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a lot of fire. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, didn't want to spark it. They're out. oily, too. They weren't great. Seen better, hadn't you? A little rich, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's some, uh, what'd you call it? Petty engineering. <laughs> we, we're back. I've added another layer here. Still cold. Um, we rigged us up a fuel system, and uh, we're going to try and see if this thing idles now. So there's a fuel hose running to the fuel pump down up under the car, and as our per usual, we've ratchet strapped a fuel jug to the front bumper, and Thad's gonna do the exact same thing, pour it down into the uh, float bowl, and then we're gonna see, will the pump actually work and make that nice sharp 90 degree turn into another 90 degree turn and go right back into the carburetor. You think it'll work? I hope so. <laughs> we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, that thing's not budging. <laughs> it's not gonna move. No. That's, that's kinda scary. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. <laughs> we're gonna just take the wheels off and see if we can do something with it. I don't really know. It takes a lot more than you think, you know. It, yeah. This thing runs on. I mean, there's no telling how much gas this thing goes through. Probably gets eight miles to the gallon. I bet. Yeah, I guarantee it, dude. Guzzler. That's probably good. All right. Give it a little shot right down in there. All Perfect. right. Perfect. Starting fluid. All of the above. All of the above. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, it's just the AC belt, ain't it? Oh. Which belt is that? Does it just do the AC? Yeah. Or it's power, power steering? steering. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang. Well, that was the one that was pelting you with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's one belt down. One belt's down. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's try it again. I really hope, let me see if it picked up anything when I pull this out of here. 
I don't know if it did. We might have to rig up an electric pump at okay. some point. We'll try it again though, if you want to okay. fill it back up with gas. Because sometimes it takes a while for these pumps to really pick up. Because if all else fails, we can crack the line here. The problem is it's got a metal line that goes all the way down to the fuel pump. There's no hose in between that, that unless we found a, a fitting that would fit that carburetor there, which there might be. Here we go. Like it's working. No, it's not picking up fuel. It runs until it runs out. Well, that's not fun. What was that? Maybe it I think was... it's the radiator building oh. up pressure. Oh. I can't even get the cap off of it. <laughs> Dang, it's petrified on there. No, oh, wow. Okay, well, we didn't need to see in there anyway. It's fine. <laughs> see if we could find a fitting maybe that'll fit that fuel line. Run a barb. Or, I hate to do it, but I mean, we could cut the fuel line too, but I hate to do stuff like that. I don't want to mess up anything like that. But if we can get that fuel line off there, we could theoretically put a barbed end on it and then run it to a, an actual, like an electric pump or something. It would run on an electric pump, and I wish I'd brought mine, but I didn't bring it. I forgot to bring it. So we might just have to invest in one. I don't want to put a fuel pump on this thing, that's for sure. Yeah. That's not going to be fun. That would be way harder than putting on a regular, uh, you, don't even, you can't even see the pump from here. All I can see is just like the bottom of it, and that's it. Oh man, that thing's rusted in there. Is it? Dang. Oh. Our fuel pump is shot, so we're having to replace it. I found a bunch of these fittings laying around. I'm gonna try and see if any of these work and run it out to an electric pump. So unfortunately, I don't think our mechanical one's going to be doing much of anything. You know, and two, it has to fill up, like the pump itself has to fill up before it can pump anything because it's got like a giant um, reservoir on it. So, I mean, we could crack that line and just see if any like fuel comes out of that, but is it moving at all? Yeah, it's moving. Just not very happily. Not very happily. <laughs> so we'll try and see if we can um, make this pump work. We'll run it again one more time, and if it doesn't, then... We'll just take a knee and go for the electric one. <laughs> Trying to see where that fuel line is. Okay, you ready? Yeah, ready. Go for it. Anything coming out? No, I don't see anything coming out. Well, yeah, I don't see anything. Fuel line, sh the fuel pump shot, then ain't it? Yeah. Dang. So Thad's trying to cut the fuel line. Uh, the pump is shot and we cannot for the life of us get that fuel line to break loose. So rather than fight it, what we've done is he's trying to cut it and we're gonna run this electric fuel pump that we went and got. We ran it from here all the way into our jug and that's gonna work. As you can see, you know, I've I really tried to be meticulous and make sure that all the wiring is safe. So it all goes off the key when you stick it to the battery. So it's it's really well done, you know. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of that. So as soon as you turn the key on, of course, you know, the pump works and when you pull it off, everything shuts down. So we're gonna see if we can hook all that up. But I've got high hopes for it now. It actually seemed like it wanted to run halfway when we got it with fuel, but that line right there is just fighting us. Yeah. He's, he made a good cut in it, but you just can't go all the way around it to get it to where you can split it, so. I don't know, we'll keep messing with it and see if we can make something happen. Yeah, hopefully we can get it off. I'm gonna try and get it all the way off, that way I can pull it up and then go around it. Okay, that's good with me. Look at there. Spin it under wrench a little bit. Yeah! Now see, that's precision. That's, that's there. precision. I don't care what anybody a says. Precise cut. Yep. With my wrench. I mean, the fuel hose will cover all that, so it's okay. Just please don't show your granddad this video, <laughs> if you can help it. Look at that, man. Come on. Hanging on by a thread now, isn't yeah. it? Oh, come on. Oh, that sounded pleasant. Oh, come on. Oh, come, come on. It's so close. Oh, 
what in the world? Why is it still on there? As big as this car is, and we have no room to work. <laughs> There's zero room. There's zero room. But to the problem, like everything, this AC compressor here is right up against that fuel line. It's it's impossible to mess with anything. There's so many different components on this car. Like it even has a rear AC module. It looks like it's 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 so complicated. Oh. How in the world is it not off? I don't know. If we left it sitting here, it would fall off. But since we're <laughs> looking at it, it's not exactly. falling off. Come on. Oh. There you go. Hey. Oh, broken. Nice. Broken. I guess go ahead and take it off. We'll see if we can clean up that end. And we'll stick that hose on it. Again, no room to get my fingers in here. Nope doing as much turning as I can. Well, you didn't want it to be easy, did you? I was hoping it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter turn at a time. That's all you get. I had to get it out right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd, it was literally hanging on by the final little thread and I popped it loose. So we're gonna try and break this loose and clean it up a little bit. We'll stick the hose on the end of that because that's not too pretty right there, but it, it's at least off. So that's all that matters. So we're just going to have him cut it back just a smidgen. We're going to have a nice clean break and then it's ready. The perfect Ooh. break. Nice work, man. It's not the uh, prettiest cut in the world, but it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all we're working for right now. We don't care if it's, it's pretty or nice. We just want it to work. On with the engine bag. He's going in. And we are going to get this thing started so we can get some fuel in here, man. That's all it needed. It wanted yeah, to be yeah, out here. Yeah. I think the Cadillac yeah. likes you, man. Look at that. It's <laughs> Pro right in. Professional, too. Like it belongs. Well, it does kind of belong. We, we ruined it, though, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we made all the things that did belong not belong anymore. Yeah, there you go. You got it going on now. Yeah. Sweet. I don't know if you want to slide this uh, on there first or whatever. Whatever you think would be the easiest way to maneuver it and there's a ratchet right. if you can take that old fuel line and just bend it backwards kind of out of your way and then you might go up under this oh yeah that's perfect oh yeah like it was that's a factory install right there yeah <laughs> backwards now you'll oh, really yeah. have to torque it down because that that hose is a little too big but it's on there at least so we've got a new electric fuel pump let's see if my expert wiring paid off oh is it gonna fill up the bowl is it gonna shoot out the vent it didn't the floats working <laughs> nice look at the bottle I don't think we have any accelerator pump that's normal here I'll, I'll help her along uh, perfect let All there be right. light. <laughs> oh, we're losing another belt. Hold on. We lost another belt. I we smell did. it. Smells oh, like it's yeah, burnout. I see it. Which Oh, that's the fan belt. Yeah. We kind of need that one because it runs the smog pump and the uh, alternator, too. I hope this thing is not locking up because if it is, we've got bigger problems. Hey, I've got an idea. We need some more PB blaster or a little bit of oil. What is that? That's green. Here's a little oil. Is this good oil or bad oil? Good oil. Okay. I won't use too much then. <laughs> Here's one. We're just going to put... A little bit on these belts. We're out of PP Blaster, but this will be the next best thing. Just to make them slick a little bit. This other belt right here is the one that's coming apart. Yeah. Let me see if I can reach it. I don't know if I can with the oil, but I'll try. It's okay if you spill some. There we go. That's perfect. Perfect. Oh, that right was like on it. Precision, man. All Beginner's right. luck. <laughs> I've been around the block, my man. Now oil's gonna sling, so watch yourself. You know what I mean? 
Dude, it's firing right up, didn't it? And it's idling. The belts aren't squeaking. Oh, come <laughs> on, man. Oh, hey, we have a vacuum leak, too, I forgot about. I pulled this hose off. Where did it come from? You remember? Did you see? No. That's not doing anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's not bad. No. Wow. It's opening up. Oh, she revs too? <laughs> oh. I think we got your new race car. Yeah, right here it is. <laughs> it was sitting back here the whole time we were looking for it. I had no, you, you thought you had to build one. Yeah. The whole time you thought you were having to build one. Oh, man. That is awesome. Let's hear it out back. That's so quiet. It's a luxury vehicle. Man. It is. <laughs> it's a, yeah. It's a caddy. I'm not used to this. I'm used to just like garbage. Yeah. Oh, she'll clear out here in just a minute. Don't you worry. Listen at it, man. Oh, she's got a little rumble. Not too bad. Yeah. Dude, that's idling so good. That is fantastic, man. What do you think? Oh, yeah. She's ready. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Me. Moving okay. this thing. That scared me. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Man, I'm so happy right now. Me too. That was a lot of work. It was a lot of work, but we got it. And it's still running. Let's see if this thing drives. You want to? I really do now. <laughs> Let me kill her real quick. Look at it. All the belts are still spinning because we got them oiled up. Oh, Sweet. yeah. Well, so our big issue right now is the fact that, well, it's not the big issue. We've got like four big issues, but <laughs> I'll list the main ones. Number one, all the brakes completely locked up. The wheels do not turn. Not sure about the rears, but we know that the fronts don't. Number two, we don't have a key, so we have no way to turn the steering column, even if we do get it to run and move. So main thing is we're going to have to do is... Probably pull the steering wheel and get it to unlock. And then on top of that, can see if you can pull it down into neutral right now. Do you have to turn the key to pull it into gear? I'm wondering if it's one of those years that you don't have to, but there's a chance you do. Oh, it's a little, a little much, ain't it? It needs a key, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Not gonna let me. Well, in that case, I mean, we could undo the linkage, but that would be kind of tough. I'd hate to undo the linkage just to try that, but um, big thing is I think our easiest bet would be to pull the steering wheel because that would answer a lot of our questions right now. So, hey, it runs though, it idles. We need coolant, we need transmission fluid, probably. We need an oil change, we need a lot of things, but she runs and that's all that matters right now. Look at this interior, isn't this awesome? It's honestly still really clean. And I noticed here, like when I opened the door, we do have a light. So the map light works. How cool is that? I just wish we could find a key for it. I mean, we've looked under all the floor mats. We've looked like under the seats. There's just no key to be found, unfortunately. So it looks like I'm going to have to be removing the steering wheel to get access to the lock itself. Because, too, you can't pull it out of park without the key. So if I can get this off, I can remove this and then just maybe take a screwdriver or something and use it to work the, the steering column. So anyway... At least it runs, at least it can seem like it wants to idle, so that's good. We just gotta get all this out of our way. It's just so hard to get in around there. We're gonna just drag it out a little bit, so that way we have a little bit more access and open the door all the way. I'll pull the steering column apart and then just rip out that ignition switch and then hope that that actually fixes everything. But Thad went up to the shop to fill up an air tank because the back tire on that side went flat and we don't want to de-bead anything if we can help it because these tires actually still hold air. But we've got straps here hooked to the frame on the underneath the car. We're gonna hook it to the truck and just drag it. And especially to get it away from the canyon behind it. <laughs> so anyway, this thing, I mean, literally runs so good. I mean, if I hook this thing up, you see all I did was hook up those two wires. Fires right up and idles. Isn't that insane? I had to put oil on the pulleys because they were slipping, but they still turn. They still turn. And done. Holding there. Yeah, it's coming off. Thank goodness. 
that should be the final step before we drag this bad boy out of here. Because this diesel's gonna do some work, I'll tell you that right now. But I'm gonna stand very far back because I don't want to get hurt. I'm so scared that something bad's gonna happen, but I'm gonna stand back a good ways. You good? Oh, well, the fronts are moving. Go, baby, go. You're good, keep going, go. You got it. Nice. Nice. Heck yeah. Perfect. Wow, that's a long car. Did you know this thing was that long? No. Look how big this thing is. It's like a limo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, the fronts broke loose. Did they? The fronts are loose. Uh, the backs won't move, obviously, because of the, uh, being stuck in gear. But yeah, it actually moved. Nice. That is fantastic. That is awesome, dude. This thing is huge. It's Holy heavy. smoke. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's a big car. Dang. Dude, that is fantastic. I'm so happy that that moved. Well, now I can, get in there. yeah, we can get inside of it now. Sweet. Take her for a spin, man. Yeah, Hop in there. What do you think about that? I mean, that's awesome. Is that luxury or what? Laid back seats in the caddy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sweet. Uh, that's why you need a good giant diesel ram, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you pull out cars out of the woods. Yeah. Look at the crater we left, dude. There's like, we could literally till this and plant some corn right here if we wanted to that's some nice soft dirt sweet we left a giant crater out of here that's what happens when your cadillac sinks into the ground it just packs the mud in we're going to try and pop off the back of this cover here and i can put a, a puller on it we'll do it the right way for once right well <laughs> semi right way the key has to be in this car somewhere. We just can't find it. Find it after we go through oh, it. guaranteed. There's no doubt about that. We will find it as soon as we get done. Or somebody's going to walk up. Hey, I found that Cadillac key. You still need it? <laughs> nice. Nice. Hey, the horn worked too. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier. It should unplug. It's being... All right. Is it on? Where does it screw in? Oh, well... <laughs> It's off now. It did. The horn did work. <laughs> the horn will not work in the future. Whoops. Yeah. That's fine. Well, there's a that. There's a U-joint. Uh, obviously, it's stuck in park, so that tells me that, you know, maybe that the drive shaft is still attached, but that's kind of scary. There it goes. Boom. Ta-da. We don't need a steering wheel where we're going. The car that keeps on giving. I just found a <laughs> I found that screwdriver in the back of the car. We're gonna use it. Perfect. Beautiful. Piece of cake, right? Yeah. Oh that what the heck is that? Is that oh is that the lock? Yep, I think it is. How <laughs> does that come out? Uh by sheer force. It must be. This was a nightmare, but I got it. Yeah! Sweet! Now, how do I make this work? <laughs> ah! Oh no, stop, stop! How does it go off? What happened? <laughs> ah! I, I think I bumped the switch. Oops, okay. Now, <laughs> yeah, I turned them off, so hopefully they go back down. There we go. It's our final day. We get to see this beauty.
going to auction and it only has 826 miles on it. How cool is that? We are back on the final day of the Cadillac, but I think it's time. What we have to do now though, is we've got to figure out, is the transmission gonna work? When we drug it out, it was in park, but it seemed like the tires rotated, especially on that side and this side over here. As you can see, the muddy spot is no longer on the bottom. So we're thinking that we're gonna have pretty decent luck with the rear brakes. I already have our pump hooked up, so we should just be able to crank it like it is. Tail lights are about gone, huh? Yeah, this whole filler panel, like this fiberglass, whatever, it's <laughs> yeah. just disintegrated over time. Look at her. Yeah. Burn. Nice, dude. We'll let her warm up for a little bit. We need to check the coolant, too. Yeah. We might go ahead and do that first thing. Okay. Fired it right back up. Yeah, where dude, we I mean, left off. When it got power, it, it fired right up. That was shocking. Yeah. See if you can get it off. Oh, it's glued. Oh, might have to get some pliers. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Maybe that means we don't need to mess with it, you think? Yeah, it's full. <laughs> That's working on transmission fluid. I'm going to try and get this radiator cap off. Because it's... That thing's glued on there. It really is. I don't know if I'll be able to do much with it. I might just have to drill a hole in it and fill it up that way. <laughs> Dang. I might be making it worse, honestly. Before that stuff spills all over me. <laughs> that would have been bad. <clears throat> Radiator cats usually don't give you trouble, you know? It, it's usually not the thing you would expect to be a huge problem. Yeah, I'm making it worse. Let me try and pry it off of there. That's, <laughs> man, I don't know. I'm afraid I'm gonna bend the tank. Does it have an overflow? Yeah, it goes all the way over here. Oh, okay, so we can pour it in here. Okay. That'll be fine. If I can get this lid off. There we go. It's got some in it. I just don't know if that's enough. Oh yeah, it's low, but that's something we can work with. Is it normal to have ice in your coolant? That's okay, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's probably enough right there. I'll drop that back in there. Perfect. And we'll just pretend like it's good. Let me fire it back up and see what, what the level's like. Yeah, let's go. I think the float's sticking a little bit because whenever I take the pump off, it starts to run better. I mean, it's showing the ad. It's on the ad mark, so it's probably a half quart low, maybe. But I think that'd be enough to try it. If you want to be the first one to drive it, I think that would be the right thing to do. All right. So, whatever you do, don't touch the brake pedal because it might lock them all up. <laughs> we don't know yet. So if it starts rolling, what do I do? Put it back in neutral and let it coast. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to see if it'll take gear and you just drive around. We don't have power steering either. We threw the belt, so. Oh. Still might be too low. Yeah. Put her back in park, but it moved. A little it, bit. It, it yeah. moved a little it bit. It did move a little bit. I felt it. Yeah. Let's pop the hood back up. We'll put a little bit more in there, but it's going to roll. This thing fits right down in there like it was made for it. I think it was. This is specifically for a 1974 Cadillac. <laughs> it you knew was, we were going to do this. Yeah, we found the original funnel for the transmission <laughs> dipstick. All right. And whatever comes out of it, it'll just leak it back out, so that's yeah. fine. 
Now that's precise right there. <laughs> that's precise. That was measured. Precision. We did it on all intentional. This car was built on precision. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're fixing everything that we've done here with precision, only precision, as you can see. Oh, come on now. Come on now. There you go. Collect your wits about you there, buddy. Check our transmission fluid real quick. Don't leave that it. Oh yeah. That's a little better. A little better. Still low though, ain't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's still low. Gosh. But it's better than it was. Yeah. Uh-oh, why are we getting mad? I think the float's getting stuck, so whenever I unhook this and the pump goes dry, the float goes back to where it's supposed to. I guess give it another quart. I don't know, what do you think? Give it another quart? we try it or give it another quart? We can give it another quart. You wanna give it another quart? Yeah, I just hate to burn the transmission up. Let's do it then. Yeah, see how it smooths out whenever I let the uh, fuel pump off? I think the float's sticking just a smidge, so or we might have to diagnose that with a hammer. It is time. Still not even warmed up all the way. We added coolant, but I don't know if it's really even gonna do anything. Give it a little throttle there, see if anything happens. Let's see. Oh, oh, come on. You're out. Oh, heck. oh. no. That floats mad right now. I'm gonna leave it like that so I can get up under here. Okay. All right, let's try it again. Uh, crack the throttle a little bit from, let's see if you can reach it. All right. Just you yeah, hold her open. It got flooded. There we go. I'll leave the pump off until you get it out. Just it'll idle a little bit better. Oh yeah, dude, that thing's ready now. Look at that. Yes. Oh yes. What a boat. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that, dude. I didn't even hit the gas. I just put it in drive and it idled itself right up out so of there. So that transmission's good, dude. Transmission's mint. Oh, about to run out of gas. Back in neutral, we're out of gas now. That's the only <laughs> reason it turned off. Dude, Sweet. Look at that. Tires all hold air. Somehow. Brakes aren't stuck. Let's go. <laughs> we got lucky on all that, dude. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, what a what a behemoth. <laughs> this thing is massive. Woo. Well, how'd it feel? Drive the car out. I mean, that was awesome, man. That thing was sitting over there for 30 years. What was it, two days, three days? We had this thing out, rolling. I mean, I just drove it. That's pretty neat. So, <laughs> car's older than I am, been sitting there longer than I've been alive. It's pretty pretty awesome. I mean, you grew up watching, seeing this car back here for the longest time. Yeah, I never knew it other than like the Woods car, right? I mean, <laughs> I, I saw pictures and stuff, but my whole life has been sitting right there in that spot or somewhere around the, this property. So now I'm the one driving it. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> well, I say we bring it up to the shop now and uh, very rarely do you have to wash a car with a leaf blower, but that's exactly what we're about to do. Because <laughs> yeah. this thing has, again, a ton of leaves on it. So we're gonna bring it up to the shop and just clean it up, show it off a little bit and show everybody what we did. And they'll probably be like, why? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Because we can. Because that's, we, <laughs> that's why we did it. But dude, this thing is huge, but it drove out on its own power. So. I'm proud of that. Me I'm too. Very proud of that I'm fact. very proud of it. Yeah, that was, that's, that's cool.
Step one, none. <laughs> now let's go get the pressure washer. There she is. <laughs> What a monster. What a monster. Oh! I'm in. Up to the shop we go. Reverse neutral drive. Oh, no power steering. <laughs> We're rolling, son. <laughs> Holy smokes, this thing's moving. We can't hardly see over the hood. No, can't see over the nasty windshield, the hood, all the things. He's got rid of that nice, pretty charger there. <laughs> I don't know. Our insurance is up to date. Can you see it all? Not really. You mean shut the hood down? Uh, I'm pretty good at guessing. <laughs> yeah, well, your guess is better than mine. I feel better if you're guessing than I am. There we go. I'm gonna throw this thing in neutral. Oh no, we need a little more juice. Give her some more juice. Here we go. This thing stops real quick. Don't to have no brakes on it. I know. Look at that. Yeah. Water hose is right there. Perfect spot. Right here, Grandpa's watching. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. I don't know if he should be. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Nice. <laughs> Let me uh, just shut the key off real quick here. <laughs> What a monster, dude. This thing is awesome. Maybe it stops so good because there's no air in any of the tires, so we just quit rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's a, just a little resistance there, right? A little resistance when we let off. Dude, this thing is so cool. I am so happy to see this thing here. That's a lot of work, man. Yeah, it, it really was. is. It was a lot of work, but it's paying off right now. Yeah, I'm getting dude. to watch it drive up here. <laughs> Oh gosh, the battle of the ages right here. <laughs> Things a, a brute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll help you the rest of the way. Oh, just rotate it out. There you go. Boom. It was stuck on that jack. Look at that thing. Oh, sweet. So you've got like a, a mini seat. Oh, there's the skirts. Heck yes. There's the skirts. I don't want to put those on though. <laughs> that scares me. That'd be a nightmare. Watch us find the key. Yeah. Right. Is there anything in that back pouch of that driver's seat? No. So what is that? What is that supposed to be? It's just a little baby seat. Okay. Yeah, safety. Huh. Safety little baby seat. So I guess you it, would think that that thing would be facing the other way. You would think, but I don't know why. It's, like this is just. I guess it was just an extra back seat. For, no, I don't see any holes for it either. Well, yeah. maybe they're supposed to have another one of those little buddy seats. Yeah. Or maybe this detaches and then you can put that bench in or something. Yeah. Oh, because there's a handle right here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And then we can put that seat in facing the, the back or whatever. Maybe it's supposed to be like a couch. That thing looks like it rotates out now. Yeah. What the? I don't know what that is. That is weird. Somebody in the comments will tell me what it is. It's up here, and funny enough, the longer it sits, the more water that pours out of the trunk. I mean, as soon as we parked, water just started pouring out of here, and it's slowly just making a giant puddle. So that trunk was full of water, whatever the case may be. I mean, it was just probably to the brim. I mean, it has not stopped. And we've probably been parked up here for a good 15, 20 minutes and it's just pouring water out of it. That is hilarious. It always does the trick. <laughs> Weather it up. You're gonna need about six cans of it. This thing's a massive car. That's the most important part right there. We'll be able to see. Yeah, so we can see. <laughs> That's great. SD20 well, we have fender skirts and we've got hubcaps. Should we put them back on or should we just... <laughs> I mean, I think it would be cool to see the whole look, but man, it would... Uh... I'm afraid if we get the skirts on, we'll never get it back on. <laughs> we'll back on. Yeah, it'll just be glued on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
brand spanking new. That's a good before and after. <laughs> yeah, look at the difference. We got disgusting and not as disgusting. <laughs> This is a really nasty spot back here. This old quarter panel was gross. Ooh, that's nasty. Look at that. Bunch of crud. Yeah, we'll have to scrub all that really good. I want those white walls to shine. I want them popping. Might have to pull it out by hand.
Somebody order a limousine. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is massive. Man, it kind of scoots a little bit. You it's, hear me get on it down there? Yeah. It, it kind of goes. You get the power? Yeah, for That's something that heavy. For you. Oh, yeah. Let's take it for a lap. As you can see, the visibility is still not great here. <laughs> <laughs> we can see a little better. Take me for a loop, driver. Let's go. <laughs> How about it? Do you think it'll spin tires? Oh, oh, oh you're See, brave. Yeah, it has a little pet, man. <clears throat> it will go. It has a little go to it. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. It's like driving a boat almost. It really I is. I feel like I'm leaning back. Like I feel like I am so far away from you right now. <laughs> this is insane how big this car Here's is. Here's the museum. Oh, oh, look at there. Look, Petty Museum. Yeah. I mean, this is the grounds, man. This is it. Yeah, this is what you should, you should tour people around in this thing. Like, <laughs> give, just sit them in the back of the cars. Like, let's just show you everything. So right there, that A-frame building, 1949, that's the only building that was here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It says historic landmark on it. That is where it all started. And uh, then they started building that way towards the house. And great-grandmother said, you're getting way too close to my house. <laughs> and, uh, man, I wish I had a horn I could get Mark to turn around and look at us. Because that's the original homestead right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, that's the original homestead. And as you can see, it just kind of keeps going. <laughs> it really does. There's uh, so much so here. The story goes that every time they won a championship, they added a building. And wow. uh, so that's why there's like seven or eight different areas back here. Wow. I'm surprised this thing's cruising as good as it is with no brakes. <laughs> We're just going. Oh, oh, oh there we go. A couple days ago, Scotty was right started. there. That's where it all started where right there. it all started. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to get going too fast because I don't know if we have any brakes. I think we should try and see if we can make some brakes work. Hey, look. Oh! I didn't know we had brakes. I just touched the brake, like just out of instinct, and it and it stopped. Do it. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I didn't know we would have brakes. We didn't even touch them. Go for a lap, a victory lap. <laughs> Dude, that is so fantastic. I am so proud of that. He's going for it. He's brave. That's exactly where it was sitting, just down there. That is awesome. Nice. Power windows don't work. We're so. puking something out. I don't know what that is. I might need to cut her off and check something, whatever that is that's going on. Well, luckily it's still just the water coming out of the rear of the car, so we're fine. Look at that. That's a that's a pretty severe stream right there. The uh, speedometer does work, and I can confirm that this thing will run up to 40 miles an hour <laughs> in the gravel. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. If if the speedometer is accurate, that we do not know either. <laughs> work yesterday when it was like freezing cold outside. It was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was worth it. Today's the all day. Of it. This is all worth it right this now. This is a gas guzzler, man. We just did like three laps, and I'm pretty sure we burned like a gallon. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to go get some more. Let's, I want to do some hot laps in this thing. I really want to see if Thad can uh, pull some race car stunts and see if this thing will slide a little bit because he's a big old boat of a vehicle. But, dude, it, I, I'm just shocked, right? I mean, I'm very impressed. Like, we didn't even expect the brakes to work, but for some reason, they just, they're like, hey, we'll work for you this time. And I was, like, so cautious not to touch the brake because you were like, man, if you touch them, they might lock up. And then just out of nowhere, I hit the brake. Sure enough, it stopped. And that's the thing, too, is, like, this car has really, like, not fought us that much. I mean, we did have to put a starter on it. We had to do some weird stuff to it, but the tires rolled the it actually held air and the brakes work enough yeah. so that's that's fantastic now that's rare you don't ever get that yeah we were kind of scared about the drive shaft too i mean there was parts of either an old drive shaft or maybe something that needs to be replaced in the car so we were a little scared we haven't been underneath this thing yet but we'll let the next person worry about that yeah right? we'll let the next person worry about it we got it running and driving we've made 
four laps, five laps now, so we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes, right? I don't know what's happening. We were about to drive it, and uh, all of a sudden the uh, belt starts just making this terrible noise. Like we shut it off so that I could get in the car, and I came back out here to start it, and all of a sudden the belt starts slipping like crazy. Like something's not happy up under here. Uh, I don't know, then the throttle got stuck and it dieseled real hard. I even took the battery cable off to turn our key off because I thought the alternator wasn't charging, but all of a sudden now it is. So. <laughs> We could put a little more oil on that belt if you want to and see if that, because that's what it did yesterday until we put oil on it. And then it, it started to work again. So maybe it's just like finally gotten tight enough. Whew. It's hot though, ain't it? That, uh, there's not much left for that belt. No, no, not at all. Which if we're moving, it's fine. It's just when we're sitting still. Yeah. So let's try and put a little oil on it and just see if that'll keep it from slipping like it was earlier. Well, we put a little bit of oil now we're gonna see, will it run and squeak now? That's better. Better. Running out of gas, oh, ain't yeah. it? I didn't put the fuel line on, the fuel wire. I don't know why it's idling up so high all of a sudden. There we go. What if the idle is like set high? Is it choke on? No? Take her for a cruise, caddy on a cruise. <laughs> that power steering pump is fun, ain't it? Yeah. Man, I'm shocked the brakes work. Me too. And they work good. Who would have thought two I, days ago we have been driving this thing around? I did not there for a minute. Yeah. The throttle seemed a little more responsive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I took the slack out of the cable, and now we're serious. Yeah, there's the museum. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there's Roland. There's Roland. <laughs> Here it is, the A-frame, where it all started. There's There's Mark, around. he sees us this time. Yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> Giving us the thumbs up. <laughs> what if the radio works? The radio. No, no, oh, whoa. We do have a radio. Well, just a little static. Just a little static. Heater work. Oh. Uh, I hear something. Oh yeah, the blower motor's wanting to do something. We know the wipers work on accident. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. There you go. There's your little slide. <laughs> oh, she's peppy, dude. He's a monster. It's really high, I don't know. Yeah. Pull that cable off. The diesel. We shut it off and she's mad. Uh oh, the radiator's busted too. Uh oh. We uh oh. Well. At least we got to have a little fun with it. That's probably why I got parked, because the radiator's shot. <laughs> she's a little mad. 
Well, it slid a little bit. Did you see it that? It did, yeah, it slid, yeah. It actually got a little bit of sideways. Probably I mean, not. if I, if this was my place, dude, I'd be cutting donuts all in this lot right here, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, she got a little mad. I mean, I, I did put some cooling in it, but I guess it's just not enough. And the radiator looks like it already had a crack in it before we even started, I guess. But, well, I say we let it cool off and then we'll take it for another drive. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely cool. Yeah, so we had to do a little bit. Uh, we had to do a lot, man. We got a new battery. We put a new starter on it. Uh, we put new plugs in it. We put new points on it. Put a new battery in it. Rigged up a gas tank. We had to actually cut the line. We had to go get this little electric fuel pump. And so we're running the gas directly from the jug right here. This is actually how you start the car. Really? Yeah, you got to start it out here. So we had to take the steering wheel off and... Uh, get it to where we could put it in gear. And uh, we got kind of lucky after that. The brakes worked, transmission worked. So. Looks like the tires are dry rotted too. <laughs> yeah, but they so, hold air. Have I ever told you the story about this car? No. Way back in the day before you were born, this was a bachelor party car. Bachelor party car. Yeah. It's, that sounds like a good time. Before, before I married your mom, we would took this to my bachelor party. <laughs> That's pretty neat. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So we how, went many, across, how many dudes went on your bachelor party? I think we had at least, and it's probably, that's before seatbelt laws were in effect. So we probably had at least eight people, maybe nine crammed in here. No, this thing would easily seat eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, We're, we keep talking about how long it is and how it just keeps going like a limo. We had so much weight in it. We went over the railroad track and we lost the whole under part of the car we lost the the exhaust we had to literally stop and pick the exhaust up and put it in the trunk <laughs> but we had a great time that's awesome tiffany's cabaret <laughs> where we ended up <laughs> she got a little hot on us earlier we were uh, had to put oil on the fan belt to keep it from slipping off because it would squeal like crazy and it can't spin fast enough so it got yeah. hot so we, we shut her off and let it cool down Hey, that's cool. Go ahead. Literally drove it. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> working. The power window is working. Look at that. Push <laughs> that. Go for it. What do you do? Just drive it in a circle? Yeah, just drive around, man. In the front? Uh, wherever you want to go. What do you I've, I've been making laps around the place. Have you? Yeah. It gives some gas, man. Yeah, let's stop right here. You got some brakes. Hood really. Get mad. Here. That throttle keeps getting stuck. Oh, that's not yours. That's dad's. Sorry. Yeah, that throttle does. Whoops. <laughs> Smoking out the hood. Good way to break it in. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely drove in 94 to the bachelorette party because the tag is not 895. And we got married in November, so that makes sense. Yeah. And I'll bet you this is, this is when we drove it to uh, North Wellsboro to that uh, fall race, the last fall race at North Wellsboro. This is when Trent... Trent and Travis and we all we all took it to uh, to the race. Was you working here then, Greg? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, that radiator has got a hole in it, and when it gets warm, it just takes all the pressure out of it. Uh, we found the hole when we started messing with it, and 
Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> Glad you got to drive it though. I was I was looking forward to see what you thought about this. I think it's awesome. Radiator's toast. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Very cool. Well, folks, <laughs> this 1974 Cadillac Fleetwood limo that was is actually currently owned by Richard Petty runs, drives, and stops for the first time in 30 years. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It overheats too, <laughs> out of both sides of the radiator. It does a good job at that. Um, but uh, a couple of days ago, if you would have told me this thing was gonna run and drive and we were gonna cut donuts in the parking lot, I would have been like, no way, man. But well, you and uh, me both, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> as, as sad as this car looked when we first started, I mean, I was very impressed by the fact that anything even worked. But the cool thing is now is that you know, there's potential here. There's so much that could be done to this car. You know, and I, I'm just glad to see it run again. And, you know, the family was excited. You know, your parents were like, this is pretty cool. Yeah, they thought it was awesome, you know, and my grandpa thinks it's awesome. So uh, for us to be able to have this car back in the fleet, I'm gonna see what they want me to do to it next. Yeah. If they wanted to run and drive down the road or, or what the next step is for this car. But the fact that it runs, now it has some life back to it. That's right. Now we've got a, a nice family hauler to go to all your races. Yeah, right? we, yeah, we can take everybody and get in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, huge thank you to Petty's Garage. Thank you, Thad, for helping me out. And where can people find where you're going to be racing this year? Yeah, so check me out at thadmoffitt.com and then on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Thad Moffitt uh, is, is where you'll find me and Dylan. Thanks for letting me be a part of this, man. It was really <laughs> cool to revive this car and uh, to have it running and driving. And now me and my dad have driven the same car around that's the same right. facility, so that's pretty cool. Grandpa's driven it, Uncle Kyle. So uh, pretty neat to, to add my name to that list, too. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. T-shirts and stickers are down in the link below. I'll also put Thad's email, not his email. I'll put Thad's website down in the link. So make sure you go check all that stuff out. And a huge, again, like thank you guys for watching so much. And I appreciate y'all because without you, we would not be here at Petty's Garage working on Richard Petty's personal Cadillac that he drove 30 years ago. So thank you guys again. And I'll see you in the next one.